So I am Daeyoon Kim, a K of the Fist Club, and I am a Jackson student under the supervision of Professor Yoon. So I want to talk about your rendering today. We're gonna talk about topic in your rendering, and I want to introduce a recent paper in your rendering field. So, what is neural rendering? Neural rendering is a research field combining deep learning and rendering. It is a very new and rapidly emerging field in computer graphics and computer vision field. So, there are many, many topics in neural rendering. So I want to introduce some of the topics. Okay. The first one is genetic postal synthesis and manipulation. In this topic, we want to add some object or remove some object. Or we want to manipulate some object. For example, in this picture, we want to change style of trees. Uh, but uh, in the systematic photosynthesis and manipulation, we want to do this process in under the schematic of the uh, photos. It means it doesn't change the schematic. And the next topic is view synthesis. In the tech, uh, even a uh, photo with a specific viewpoint or we want to generate other images from other viewpoints similarly in the relighting test or we want to change the lighting environment of the photo or in this uh, we want to change the facial motion or we want to change the body poses from uh, it is for the facial or body ring like and any topic combining deep learning and cryptographic concept then it can be a topic in neural render. So, let's introduce the third paper. It is for view synthesis and it uses uh, neural radio field and volume rendering. And in the third, uh, a fully connected network representing radio field is used and it is changed from a set of images with no camera code. So let's remind, remind the radial speed concept. As you learned from render equation, radius means the amount of light at a specific position in a specific direction. And radial speed is just a vector function representing the radial fields in every direction and at every point in space. So it can be represented as the three dimensional function of, of the five dimensional input. The inputs are the position x, y, z, and the direction theta and phi, and the output will be the RGB of the light. And volume rendering is the is a rendering technique from radiance field. So if we want to generate an image from radiance field, volume rendering will be a best choice. So in volume rendering pipeline, uh, we want to make a light path 
and we want to get the radiance field value on the light path and integrate them and it will be the color of desired, desired pixel so here is the network architecture of DERP in the DERP uh, a multi-layer multi perceptron is used to predict the radiance field value the input of the MLP is position and direction and the output will be the RGB value and transparency so if we train the MLP then we can generate the image from desired view through the volume rendering and we can generate the rendering loads from the generated image and ground truth image. Here is the result of DERP. Compared to other methods, DERP can reconstruct the details of the scene well. And DERP uh, requires low memory. It requires only 5, me 5 megabytes, but other methods require gigabyte of memory. And DERP requires no other data about 3D scenes, for example, mesh, voxel grid, etc. However, DERP has some limitations. First, the speed of trading and inference is very slow. For trading, uh, it takes one or two days with NVIDIA 300 GPU. And for inference, uh, DERP takes a few seconds for each image. And DERP only aims for trading for one scene. So if we generate one image from other scenes, we need to train the DERP model for the other scene. And DERP is hard to handle the large things. After LERP is published, there are many improved versions of LERP are published. So I want to introduce some of the papers. Some of the improved versions solve the limitation of LERP, or others or edit or extended the task of the Do not paper reduced the training and inference time. So they added depth as the additional inputs of MLP and they achieved the same quality with LERP with less samples than the So this is the results of Lunar. Quality is very high, but they use less simple than them. And this paper is for generalization on genes. They used beta learning for better initialization. And this lib nerf is for handling large scenes. They used lib map for representing various scales of scenes. So when we zoom in, the lib nerf can handle better than the dirt. Black one is dirt and white one is lib nerf. And NERP is a relighting version of the NERP. 
So in dark, so both have predict the reflectance and visibility. So they can generate the heat with other light environment. So for a summary, uh, say we learned about the concepts of mirror render and we learned about set mirror volume rendering technique for the dark for view synthesis. Here is the reference and thank you for listening.